is it, Winnie, and today's video is what I'm doing with this makeup. So, if you want to see how I get this uh, makeup look, just keep watching, and I hope you enjoy. Bye! So, the first thing I'm starting off with is the Professional Primer by Benefit, and... This is actually the mini version because it's my first time trying it and it was one of the samples I got when I went there a couple of weeks ago. So that was pretty cool. So thanks Benefit. So what this does is it helps fill in your pores so you have a flat surface. Put it around my areas where I need to most. So I'm just going to take my foundation. This is what I'll be using today. It is the MAC... What is this called? The MAC Marsh Marshmallow. Gosh. Um, Matchmaster SPF 15 foundation in the shade 1.0. Oh, that was a bit much. Oh, gosh. Okay. The sponge so blue slash blender. I can't talk today, can I? Well, yeah, it's very dirty. I know, I know. I need to clean it. I just haven't got around to it because that's one of the things I'm not good at. I procrastinate so bad. If you guys procrastinate as well, you'd probably know the same things happen. You put them off because you got to do other things. Except I don't. I put them off because I want to. Watch Gossip Girl or something. Using my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Yeah, Vanilla. LA Girls Pro Conceal and Natural. But, I, well maybe I've got a little spot popping out. But other than that, I don't think I need to cover anything else. Yay! Oh my gosh, my hair is actually getting quite long now. It, used, I, I got it cut up to here, like just above my shoulders, but it's actually grown quite a bit. What month is it? I got it done in January, September now. Yeah, it was first of September the other day. Um, so yeah, it's been about it has been eight months or, or maybe a little less. Wow, what are your guys' thoughts? Do you think I suit short or long? Now I do. <laughs> Slight dilemma. I deleted all my f um, videos before my January favourites because I don't know. I don't know. I was. I didn't like them. I should have just put them on private. I should have just privated those videos. But I actually deleted them. So I don't have any videos with me with long hair. So just imagine it or something. But yeah. I'm going to be using my Benefit, oh my god, I'm going to be using a few Benefit products today. Shout out to Benefit then. <laughs> um, the High Beam uh, highlighter, I guess. is the Luminescent Complexion Enhancer. <laughs> Highlight all the heated away. I'm just going to be using my beauty blender again since it is liquidy slash creamy form so it's like a nice natural glow. I'm just going to set my under eyes now with the Australia's AC on tour and when I first got this I didn't realise but it says contour on it and I was like when I figured it out I was like oh my god. That's so funny. It just looks like this, and I'll be using the banana shade for sitting underneath those under eyes. I might go into contouring now with this colour. Just a tiny bit, it's very pigmented, just like a little bounce off. And I'm just gonna bronze up my cheeks a little. I think it's time for the eyebrows. And I'll finish off my face later. And like I said before, I am using quite a lot of Benefit products today. Um, well, actually, not quite a lot, but a few. <laughs> and 
am using the Cabral by Benefit, obviously, um, in the shade number two. I apologise if you can hear um, background noise. My um, family is watching a racing movie, <laughs> so if you hear like cars on a, like drive, like racing, and yeah. Before and after, like oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm actually also gonna go in with my Maybelline Master. What are they called? What is it called? Master Brow Pro Palette. Just lightly go in with the middle shade. I run over, run over my brows. Uh, no, I just like to quickly go over my brows and this just to set them, I guess. Nah, just to fill them in a bit more. By the way, I've got my pajama pants on. <laughs> like, you gotta make your top half nice because no one sees your bottom half. So yeah, I'm in pajamas and it's actually not a very nice day. It's starting to rain now actually. It's so nice this day. Oh. Yeah, rolling well, some weather, but we've just gone into spring now, so that's always exciting. That means it's nearly summer. Woo! I'm just gonna go in with some concealer just for my just for priming my eyes because I actually don't own an eyelid primer but I'm thinking about getting a NYX one because I've heard from some people that it's actually quite good so, oh my god I got the hiccups and I just realized I didn't put powder on I didn't see my face oh gosh and I've already got I've already bronzed Oh no! But some powder just to set my face. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, so my powder that I'm using is by Clean Color. Really cheap, but it works, so that's good. And Sand Beige Contour Palette. Um, because it has some nice brown shades, so I'll be using that. Um, in my, on my crease in my eye. Well, yeah, crease, yeah. And so I'll just be taking this middle shade here. I've got hooded eyes, right? Um, so if I do my, if I put it in my natural crease, you won't be able to see it. So it's like no point doing it. So what I like to do is put my head and look straight towards the mirror. So the mirror's right there. Um, and then put it just above. And then you can lift your eye up and just blend it. And so now, as you can see the difference, you can actually see the eyeshadow. Now, I quite like to make it dome shaped, so I like to bring it out a little bit. And then I actually kind of bring it down just a little bit, just with my blender brush. So I'm actually taking my uh, In The Nude Lightly Toasted by W7. I'm going to take this kind of sh champagne-y colour, the second one from the light side, on my lid. And you want to make sure that you don't go up to the crease because that just defeats the purpose of putting that crease colour in it. Uh, I'm just putting it on my lid and as you can probably see it gives quite a nice shimmer it's like a little surprise you know you just want to bring it down to your inner corner as well I just need to blend it all out together because we don't want to make it harsh I'm just going to put a darker shade in my uh, corner out of V. I'll just be taking this colour here. I'm just going to lightly put it in my outer corner. And then you just want to bring it up to your crease just a bit. Now to highlight my eyes, I'm going to be going back in the same palette. And I'm going to be taking the lighter shade there is underneath my brow so on 
my brow bone. Back in with the um, blender brush that we've been using the whole time, uh, well I've been using half the time. I'm just gonna blend up here using my Scandalous Eyes. Scandalous Eyes by Rimmel London. And this is a volume mascara and I absolutely love it. I really wanna try um, Lash Sensational by Maybelline. Really wanna try it. But this is what I've been using and oh, look at that brush. It is humongous. But I actually think that that's what gives it the boom. <laughs> uh, I don't know how anyone make, when they put on mascara can make a straight face. Like how do they do it like it's just crazy. <laughs> it's really hard not to make a silly face when you're doing it. I'm just gonna do my... Oh, I've got some mascara underneath my eye. Okay, I'll fix that up later. Another benefit product. I'm gonna be using the Hula. Um, by Benefit. It's going under my jawline. Just a wee bit. Highlighter, I'm going in with my Hourglass. What is this called? Hourglass Incandescent Strobe Light. Just an angled brush. And okay, can we just. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Now we have a mini heart attack then. Can you just see how beautiful that is? It's so pigmented as well. Highlight it. Highlight like crazy. Special occasion. It's just so nice, is it? Showing you how beautiful is that? It's, oh my gosh. Right, for blush I'm gonna be using Orgasm by NARS. And it's actually in a duo, but I've already done my bronzer. I'm just gonna take a blush brush and just lightly give us some color. I don't really know what that color I should do. I haven't tried this but it's the well I've swatched it but it actually looks really pink and I'm not really a hot pink like that's quite outgoing for me um so I'm not gonna do that one I don't think yeah, see, as I've, it's more of a mauvey, corally colour, and I'm just not about that life. I have no colour. I think I'm just going to go on with the trusty one, and go with Pure Zen by MAC. Like, you can't go wrong there. It's a bit pinky still, but it's better than that one I had before. This is the finished makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed with this little chit chat getting ready with me. Well, it's not getting ready with me, sorry. Chit chat video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. And if you want to see more of these makeup videos, stay tuned. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.